Greetings, everyone. Thanks again, once again, for tuning in to Porch Talk. So, I'm going to catch you up with some of the shenanigans that's been going on in the celebrity world. It's back to giving, talking about the 411 and the foolishness. So, 50 Cent posts a picture of his younger child that he has. He has two sons, and everyone who knows the oldest son, I think his name is Marcus, it's always been some conflict there. Basically, he tries to explain that it's between, you know, the issues that his mother and him have um, as his mother's been poisoning the young boy but anyway he went on to have another son and it appears to the public that he chooses to treat the youngest son better than the oldest now 50 cent is very petty he really is he's petty but i don't know him personally i don't know the individual that's not on social media and that's not constantly finding ways to keep himself relevant not saying that's a bad thing i mean that's what you have to do you have to remain relevant in the entertainment business so you got to do something his tends to be clapbacks and putting people on blast and all that kind of stuff so that's what he does so anyway he poses this picture of his younger son and he says happy holidays enjoy today man take some time for things that are really important to you god bless it's easter sunday i know y'all clean for real at the church so somebody responds imagine how your firstborn feels seeing this shaking my fucking head you're a piece of shit for real can't even be a dad for the one that actually looks like you straight joke so then 50 replies fuck you bitch you don't know shit about what you're talking about everything was positive and then you come with the bullshit but go suck a dick of course here's the thing i don't know why these fans they like to troll or fans or foes or whatever the hell they like to troll in the comments they like to get a reaction but at the end of the day we have to understand that when we're commenting on these people's lives despite what we think we don't know shit because we're not living in their life we have no idea what's going on and i'm sure it's a sensitive subject and i'm sure he's tired of people getting on him about it now the most that i have to say is I do feel like 50 in some way should try to make that right. I don't know how he would. I don't know what obstacles that he has to go through. But just because he is the adult in this situation and despite what poison the mother could have put in the child's head, it's still his responsibility as the more mature adult in the situation to make things right. But again, that is his choice. We don't know what obstacles he's going through. And these fans really need to stop being so disrespectful and so ridiculous. You don't even know. Maybe he's trying to be a better father to this child and make this more right because he knows how bad it went with the first people go through all kind of different stuff so y'all really need to stop seriously yeah but 50 is petty and it's been said that he can dish a lot of stuff that he's not willing to take i get that but we're not talking about stuff that's just out there for the public opinion and just because these people are celebrities doesn't mean that everything they go through is up for a discussion. And I know people think that, but they are human. So sometimes you got to fall back. 50 Cent has more foolishness going on. So Tierra Marie, a while back sometime last year, she had a sex tape leap. It was actually part of her storyline on Love & Hip Hop. It was her old storyline. Her ex-boyfriend Akbar had put up a, or his girl crew is his whatever you call him, hear him or whatever he got going on. Somewhere in that group, they leaked a sex tape. And 50 reposted a picture of her in an act that was already posted. Okay, so she decides to sue him. And from then, he countersued and she actually lost and she owed him 30 grand. So now it has went up. So a judge has issued a bench warrant against Tierra Marie. She was going around saying, I ain't got it, making t-shirts. Every time you see a post, she's antagonizing 50. I ain't got it. I ain't got it. She got on new wigs and she's in the airport, but she ain't got it. Okay. And she probably doesn't. You can't equate a $300 wig. I'm just saying, I don't know how much it costs. I mean, even if $3,000 ain't $30,000. So, you know, most people are not going to stop living their life, despite the fact that it might piss you off to see it. Like, you owe me money. How dare you get a new toothbrush? You know what I'm saying? That's how petty some people can be. And I'm not calling 50 petty. I'm just saying the girl's not going to start living. But anyway, in spite of so she is wanted after a judge ordered a bench warrant for her failing to appear at a court hearing in her battle with 50 cent so it was held where she was ordered to appear and never show up the los angeles judge has put a five thousand dollar warrant on her. i don't know tiara sweetheart you might not have it but look like you don't have to come up with it because this is not going away then 50 of course he had to say something about it he said see the shit ain't funny now is it funky he called it funky y'all 
you best be coming up with my money. I'm gonna need a 75k now after they add up all the additional legal fees. The law is a law. 75,000. That's something. And then he posts another picture. Again, talking about the law is a law. Don't play with me. I don't want to play. Laugh out loud. Oh, that 50, I'm going to tell you, he ain't going to let it go. He is not going to let it go. She might as well come up with, I don't know what she's going to, maybe she needs to start checking in her couch. You know, yeah, you find a little, check all your, your pockets, check the dryer, baby, because he, he needs his money. Come up with them coins. This is unfortunate. And he, he keeps posting pictures on the shape. This stuff is really crazy. Y'all, fuck with the album cover. I ain't got it. Link in my bio. Oh God, 50, please make it stop. Russell Wilson does a really good thing. He got a $140 million contract extension with the Seattle Seahawks. And so because of that, he thanks his team's offensive line for all their hard work by gifting them $12,000 in Amazon stock each. So he spent $156,000 on his 13 linemen. Isn't that great? They talk about giving back and showing appreciation, okay? So he wrote a letter to his teammates and it said, every Sunday we go to battle together. You sacrifice your physical and mental well-being to protect me, which in turn allows me to provide and care for my family. This does not go unnoticed and it's never forgotten. When I sat down to think of ways to honor your dedication, a dozen different ideas came to mind. Some were flashy, some were cool, and then it goes on. Can you imagine getting that? I mean, stocks, that's really important, right? I mean, that's a good gift. So shout out to Russell Wilson for that. That's some stuff. I need a friend like that. I mean, Russell, what's up? So, no. You, you could buy my family some stock too. No, I'm just playing. But for real, that's really wonderful, Russell. He seems to have a really good spirit. I read somewhere on, I think it was Facebook, it was a little article going around that basically he was saying about future, that he's basically tired of this foolishness that Sierra has to go through her future and he could just keep his little coins, take them off child support because me and my family, we set, you know, we set for the future. We don't really need that. And some people took it as shade, and I get what he's trying to say. Um, I don't know. If I was future, though, I would have to show up and show out. I mean, because Russell, he's looking like, um, he's looking like Jesus' little brother, eh? My goodness. Get it together, future. All right, y'all. Thanks again, once again, for tuning in to Porsche Talk. I'm going to catch y'all next time. Bye. Make sure you choose Rocky Road Productions LLC Porch Talk to feed your entertainment needs. And you can do that by following us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your family and friends. Tag somebody in it, why don't you? And don't forget to comment down below and let us know how you feel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. That's right. You'll catch us every week. Looking forward to see you again next time. Bye.